Okay, check out this shirt, okay. Um, it says atheist because... <laughs> okay, so this is obviously referring to Jesus Christ, right? Because God sending himself to sacrifice himself to himself to save us from himself is a little bit much for any logical person. Okay, so I understand where he's coming from with the first two. The third one is just uh off putting it's not off putting it's just i don't know where the hell he got that from like either he doesn't know how to read or someone uh or he just takes things out of context i have no idea where the third one is coming from anyways okay so jesus christ right if you know 100 percent sure that's who this is referring to sending himself to sacrifice himself to save us from himself okay so he did get sent by a higher you know, by uh, Jehovah, Yahweh, you know, excuse me, or Elohim. So, obviously, he didn't send himself if you believe in a higher power um, that was not Jesus, because there's a big one that's missing in here, which he uh, could not resurrect himself, because obviously, God resurrected him on the third day. So, a lot of people that believe, I mean, I'm not dissing Jesus Christ in any way, shape, or form. You know, I do believe Jesus is a much higher power than most of the angels and humans. Obviously, all the any angels higher than human. Um, but this, the third one, I have no idea where they came out with that one to save us from himself. <laughs> like, where does it say that <laughs> that he's saving us from himself in the Bible? It doesn't say that anywhere in the Bible. Um, maybe he's maybe the thing about the scripture that God sent you know to work um, maybe he's thinking of that scripture but it can't be okay there's a scripture that says that God sent his only begotten son and because he loved the world so much so if you take this one scripture and read it nothing on that shirt would make any sense if you believed in this one scripture Okay, that's John 3.16. A lot of people have it, you know, tattooed and on their car and on their face or wherever they have it. John 3.16 says, For God loved the world so much, He gave His only begotten Son, which is Jesus Christ. So you can't give yourself. I mean, you could give yourself to somebody, but whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. So God loved the world. So there, if you, if you read carefully, you see there is a God and a Son. But the Bible took out God's name from the Bible, okay, which is in Psalms 3, 16. Okay, it says, you know, God's name in even the King James Version, which is translated, you know, Jehovah. So, with that being said, there's obviously two um, separate entities. There's God, and then there's His Son. Okay, so there's a Son. So... Let's say I'm referring to myself as God. I don't say and my son as myself. That doesn't make any sense. That's, that would just be stupid to think that. So how? So cause I, I came across this shirt on the internet. I was you know looking up videos or whatever. I don't know what I was doing, but then I saw this and it doesn't make any sense if you believe in John three sixteen because God loved the world so much He He gave His Son. You know, as a sacrifice. Because in the spiritual realm, sacrifices for whatever reason, okay, it's beyond me, mean something, okay? In the spiritual realm, sacrifices mean something. Now, what I mean beyond me, obviously, when you give your time as a sacrifice for providing for your family, you give your time as a sacrifice for things that make sense. But when you give a life, it kind of makes sense to me, but it's still kind of like, you know, it's kind of... I don't want to say. Anyways, it's just beyond me. So, he's an atheist because he doesn't believe in John 3.16 or he doesn't read the Bible or he misconstrues what he reads or he's just skipping over John 3.16 and he's reading every other chapter or book of the Bible because he's a moron. Okay, that's what it is. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, proof that Jesus Christ is not God. 
but you know to be respected and everything of that means of and nature you know obviously jesus was a big tool and not a tool in a bad way but a tool in a good way that he was uh used by god as a sacrifice like i said a little bit over our heads but it is what it is like subscribe and share check links in the description peace out